Hello and welcome aboard. We've got the boat loaded up and we're ready to start looking for manatees. Now we're starting down into Crystal River, but we're keeping a lookout to make sure we don't run across any manatee that might be in our path. It is a fact they are slow moving creatures and really don't have the opportunity to get out of our way. A majority of all manatees death are not from the propeller, but actually from the impact of the boat hitting the manatee causing them to die from internal bleeding. So we want to keep a sharp lookout so we don't injure any of these beautiful animals. Well, we're almost there and it's about time to get in the water to look for some manatees. But as we're looking around, we come across some other amazing animals here in the water, like this smallmouth bass. Very beautiful animals. Very good to eat, too. Here we come across a small sunfish. You can tell it's a sunfish by its identifying reddish dark mark on its side. Here we come across a variety of fish swimming together. Here we have some bluegill, some sunfish, we even have a mullet. A mullet is a silvery long cigar shaped fish swimming around. They're mainly a bottom feeder. Here we have a long nosed gar. They can grow as long as about five feet long. They're the largest of the gar family. They mainly eat small fish. Very beautiful animals. Might be kind of intimidating once you first swim across them, but they're really not that aggressive towards humans. Ah, what do we have here? Looks like a large group of snappers that have migrated here into the fresh water of Crystal River. Uh, mm, good eating here, but they're a little bit too small to catch. They still got a lot of growing to do. Ah, here we go. We've come across a small group of manatees. Did you know that the manatee can be found as far north as Carolina? It can also be found as far west as Louisiana. During the winter months, the temperatures of the ocean start to drop. So the manatees start to seek refuge throughout the Florida's rivers and seek out their springs where the water temperature is 72 degrees year round. Here we have a large male that is sitting comfortably by one of the openings to the springs and sleeping quite nicely. If we take a closer look we can see some of the barnacles that have started to grow on the side of the manatees throughout his ocean voyages. Now manatees can't sleep very long because they can only hold the breath for about three to five minutes before they have to surface to take a fresh gasp of air. Once he's taken his breath he rests down to the bottom and relaxes and falls back to sleep very quickly. Manatees have been known to live as long as 60 years out in the wild. Currently in Florida's population we have counted about 3,000 individuals. So yes, they are still part of the endangered species list. So we must be very careful to protect these beautiful animals. On average an adult can weigh as much as 1,800 pounds and be as long as 12 feet. On average, one manatee can eat as much as 10 to 15 percent of their own body weight every day. Now manatees are vegetarians, so they eat a lot of seagrass throughout the day helping to keep our waterways clear. On average, a female manatee will breed 
once every two to five years. And in some situations, it has been known for manatees to have twins. When a female manatee is pregnated, they will go through a one-year gestation period. When the calf is born, it can weigh as much as 70 pounds and be four feet in length. When the calf is hungry, it will just swim up to its mother and nudge it on its side. Then the mother will stop swimming and the calf will grasp a hold of the mother's fin. Located just behind the fin is what's called a teat, which is the mammary gland where the milk is produced. The calf will then start to suck on that mammary gland to get its rich nutrients. Now manatees are very friendly animals and we have nothing to worry about. They are very beautiful and very curious. They find us very interesting and want to come check us out. So you'll find if you're swimming with the manatees that they'll start to swim and follow you, checking you out, trying to satisfy their curiosity. Now because manatees are endangered, it's important that you never chase them or follow them and never touch them. They are wild animals and they need to be treated with respect. Often manatees will play and how they play is they turn and twist Here we've come across a small manatee that has been recently hit by a boat. You can see the propeller marks going along the back side of the manatee. It's very important whenever traveling a boat, especially in a manatee zone, we keep an extra lookout so we protect these beautiful animals. I hope you've enjoyed visiting the manatees in Crystal River. We look forward for you to join us on our next big adventure.